Tesla announced another stock split yesterday. One of the most important questions that I saw on YouTube these days around the Tesla stock split is, do you want free money? If the answer is yes, then you should considering looking at the Tesla stock in the coming weeks. Yesterday, Tesla announced its plan to ask shareholders for permission for the next stock split. And the last stock split of Tesla happened in 2020. And the amazing thing was, as a result, the share soared in the weeks before the stock split. Interestingly, since the split, Tesla's share price increased by 128% leading to about $1 trillion in market capitalization. Why is that happening with a stock split? And what is a stock split? Every shareholder receives a certain amount of new shares of the company after the split. Since every shareholder benefits from the split equally with new shares and the investment story doesn't change, the market capitalization stays unaffected. What changes is the share price. It will go down following the ratio of the split. For example, a share price of $1,000 in a 10 to 1 ratio becomes $100 after the split. A shareholder owns 10 shares instead of one after the split. They get nine new shares for one share in their portfolio. At the end, they have 10. And it still represents the same total value. $1,000. Kevin on the Meet Kevin channel on YouTube brought up the pie example. And it goes like this. Imagine a pie that was cut into 10 pieces. Every shareholder got one piece of the pie. Then someone stops by and cuts each piece into another half, which makes up 20 pieces of a pie. Basically, every shareholder now has the same amount of the pie. And instead of one piece, they got two pieces. But in principle, these two pieces uh, sum up to the same amount. The thing is, since every shareholder now has two pieces instead of one, they can sell the second one, if they like, to other shareholders and own a smaller piece of the pie and get for half of the pie, of half of the piece, a little bit of money. So at the end of the day, when they sell, one piece, they have money and they have a little bit of the pie. This is the same principle in a stock split. So why does that make a difference? Before the split, each shareholder could decide to either sell one piece of pie or one share or keep them for himself. These were the only options with a share. Either you hold it or you sell it. But when you sold it, you have money and the share is gone. With a stock split, you get not one share, in the Tesla 10 to 1 case, it's nine additional shares. So at the end of the day, you have 10 shares and you can do whatever you want. You can sell nine shares and keep one. So you still have one share, which is worth a little bit less, but it's a share of Tesla. Or you hold them or you sell everything or you sell five shares and hold five. Why do companies decide for a stock split? Before blockchain technology was invented, a stock split was the only way to fractionalize shares. Okay. Meanwhile, I see such concepts on exchanges like Bitbundle. The team takes care that people with small pockets can also invest in companies with a minimal amount. For example, the Austrian company Bitbundle makes investments in single public companies possible from one euro onwards. Yes. If you want to buy a little bit of Tesla, you only need one euro that you can invest because basically they fractionalize one share and split it up in tiny, tiny little pieces. When I look at the Tesla price today, $1,000 doesn't make investment in Tesla possible for everybody. Elon Musk is a public figure and has a lot of fans also amongst younger people. And $1,000 might be a significant, significant amount, especially when I think about the Robin Hood community or uh, the Reddit communities. But with fractionalized shares, one euro, everybody can start becoming an investor, even kids. Or another example, Berkshire Hathaway, at the time of recording this YouTube video, Berkshire trades for an amazing $539,000 per share. How many people do you know who are willing and able to buy one share of Berkshire for $539,000? It is a very narrow market 
since only 1% of the global population has a net worth of $1 million. In 2022, fractionalizing stock is a way out of the problem of a limited market due to a high stock price. Before the blockchain technology, the only way out of the problem was a stock split. And why is this still necessary? One reason, in my opinion, is simply habits. Another reason is that it makes each share cheaper and gives more retail investors the possibility to own one whole share of a company rather than a small portion of one share. This might be psychologically benefiting for some people that they have the feeling they own one share, which basically is also just bits and bytes these days, and it doesn't really make a difference. There is one myth on the market that a stock split leads to higher share prices. Is that really true? Does the share price usually go up after a split? What is the background? What is behind that myth? The, th the thinking is, if that stock gets cheaper, more people can buy shares, increasing the share price through higher demand. This theory holds true for Tesla at the time of the last stock split. It was in August 2020. And since then, the value of the company has increased by 128%. It also holds for Apple stock split, which increased the share price from about $100 per share to $177, price adjusted to the stock split. Similar performance shows NVIDIA, which traded around $200 at the split and is now close to $300 per share. Companies like Tesla, Apple, and NVIDIA are already great businesses, and such companies fall into Monish Papraya's Apex Spawner category. No wonder that the stock price goes up, regardless how high the stock price is. But in such cases, stock splits can help increase the potential shareholder base. A high price limits the number of people in the world who can buy one stock and a lower stock price maximizes the number. In my opinion, it really doesn't make huge differences since more and more exchanges start with the idea of fractionalizing shares. Looking at Tesla again, um, Elon Musk, for example, has set up his entire strategy for Tesla's market capitalization around retail investors. In interviews, he stated, I do think that a lot of the retail investors actually have deeper and more accurate insights than many of the big institutional investors, and certainly they have better insights than many of the analysts. His strategy is with Twitter that he specifically targets the crowd of retail investors with the way he acts and success proves him right. For such companies like Tesla and for CEOs like Elon Musk, great businesses that want to maximize the shareholder count, stock splits are a helpful tool. Studies from 1996 to 2007 show that companies with stock splits outperformed the markets in the following years by 8 to 12% per year. I believe good businesses will always do well, but can give the company's market capitalization an additional push with lower stock prices. The truth is that the critical success factor is what Warren Buffett calls great businesses. Kathy Wood's ARC Fund did proper research and modeling for the Tesla investment thesis and came up with a price target of $1,500 to $4,000 by 2025 with the expected value of $3,000. Cutting the price with the stock split might give an additional psychological short-term effect, but the only thing that counts long-term is that the business is doing really well. And mid-term, Tesla must sell more cars and create more cash flows, either with product sales or licensing fees or acquiring and developing new businesses that generate more cash flow. The debate about the stock split is interesting. In my eyes, a company that performs well after a stock split has a high chance of being an outlier, not because of the stock split, but due to having a great business that multiplied in recent years. As a result, the stock price reached an area in which the number of potential shareholders became very limited. A stock split might help short term, but long term, it still needs a solid investment thesis around a functioning business model. Hey, you, did you enjoy the content? 
then make sure that you subscribe to the channel to not miss any video. I upload a new video almost every day, so stay tuned.